हरे कृष्णा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई आई एम शुभमय नीताई दास टुडे विल टेल यू वन स्टोरी फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम दिस स्टोरी कम्स इन द टेंथ कैंटो ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम वंस द सॉन्स ऑफ कृष्णा प्रद्युम्न सांबा दे वर प्लेइंग इन द फॉरेस्ट and while playing they came across a well a very deep well and they looked into the well they saw a huge lizard in that well all of them tried to rescue that lizard tried to pull that lizard out of the well but even after trying so many times they could not get the lizard out of the well then as usual they all approached the supreme lord shri krishna who was there in dwarka and they went into the palace of lord krishna told him the entire thing and krishna went with all of his sons to that well in which the lizard was there krishna easily lifted that lizard out of the well and just by the touch of lord krishna the supreme personality of godhead that lizard immediately turned into a very beautiful demigod so that demigod started to speak that how he became a lizard so he was actually king riga in his previous life king riga was a very pious king he used to give a lot of charity to his citizens and especially the brahmanas as we know in the vedic ages kings used to give cows to the brahmanas as charity so king riga gave lakhs of cows to one brahmana and the brahmana was very happy by receiving lakhs of cows from king riga but what happened one day is that one of the cows which was gifted to that brahmana by king riga came back to the uh, palace or came back to the uh, the house of king riga and mixed with his cows without the notice of king riga so that cow came back and king riga again gave charity to another brahmana and that cow which came back from the house of the first brahmana he gave that cow also to that second brahmana actually king riga did not know that uh, this cow was actually uh, it came back from that first brahmana's house so he gave back he gave that as charity to the second brahmana and now what happened is that the first brahmana he started to look for that cow actually in those ages the brahmanas took care of all of his cows very nicely and they could understand that one of my cows is missing and that first brahmana searched went to all parts of his of his kingdom to search that cow and finally he found out that same cow has been gifted by king riga to another brahmana then the first brahmana became very angry at king riga that how can you uh, steal my property you have already gifted me that cow how can you again gift it to somebody else you have stolen my property and king riga told that no i did not know that how uh, accidentally that cow that cow came back to his to his house so the first brahmana 
didn't listen. He cursed King Riga to become a lizard. This is according to one of the Puranas. Other Puranas tell, uh, tell that actually that first Brahmana didn't curse King Riga at that time. He just allowed that thing to happen. And then when King Riga died, at that time he went to Yamlok, the court of Yamraj. So Yamraj told that you have done lot of pious activities throughout your life, but you have done one mistake, one small mistake you have done. That is, you have gifted uh, a cow to a Brahmana which was already gifted to another Brahmana. So this is actually like stealing another's property, especially a Brahmana's property. So Yamraj told King Riga that what do you want? You first want to get the suffering due to your sin or you want to get the enjoyment due to your pious activities. So King Riga uh, in the court of Yamraj told that no, no, I want to get the suffering first because once I get the suffering of this sin completed, then I will enjoy very much in heaven due to all the uh, pious activities that I have done throughout my life. So Yamraj told him that, okay, so you will get the body of a lizard. So fortunately, uh, this lizard got the mercy of Lord Krishna. And that mercy was obtained through the medium of his devotees, that is the sons of Krishna. They were all devotees of Krishna. So in that way, King Riga was relieved from this uh, sinful body of a lizard and then he took shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So in the Vedic Karmakanda section, all these rituals are there which have many laws which are very intricate but the main aim of the Vedas is to surrender to Lord Krishna. So one who is trying to surrender to Lord Krishna does not have to uh, follow all these Vedic Karmakanda things. Actually, King Riga was very meticulous in following these Karmakanda activities of, of the Vedas. But the problem with Karmakanda is that even if there is small mistake, then also one will have to suffer very much. But in Bhakti, that is devotional service to Lord Krishna, there is no requirement of following all these rules and regulations of Karmakanda, of the Vedas. One can simply surrender to the Supreme Lord and be happy always. So in this age, Kali Yuga, the simple process of surrendering to Krishna has been recommended by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that is simply by chanting His holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Indeed, simply by chanting these names, one can be happy and return back home, back to God. Thank you very much for patiently hearing this story. And if you like to hear more such stories from Srimad Bhagavatam, then please share these videos and subscribe to this channel and recommend your friends to subscribe to this channel. Hare Krishna.